Good morning, my fellow toasters. Um, I guess I can say that, right? Toaster today, Total OS today, TOS today, toaster. Spatry called me that once, toaster today, and I thought it was kind of funny, but I guess it's appropriate, right? Toaster as in warm. It's zero degree, zero degrees here where I live. It's so cold I can't even talk. Anyway, this is Evolve OS. Now, this is something I looked at uh, a week or two ago, it was when I did the uh, the podcast with one of my podcast partners, Charlie Henson, who owns a lot of Mac stuff. And I had bought my first uh, uh, iPad Mini. Anyway, we did a um, podcast on that. If you would like to listen to that, and when we did that, we talked about this, and I forgot all about this, and that's a shame because I liked what I saw. So let's go ahead and take a quick look. At this admittedly I don't know much about it I just think it looks cool all right well this is evolve OS I'll just be running this inside a virtual box since it seemed to be running okay back then this is a default desktop let's see if right clicking does anything it does not okay you have some shortcuts here the usual as you can see let's go to settings see what that looks like of course settings in Linux would be something comparable to the control panel in Windows. Now, I do like the use of the color scheme here, the theming and the icons. This kind of reminds me of my uh, Android phone and I think this is set to, uh, this is made to uh, copy or mimic I believe Chrome OS. I don't have a Chromebook but I think this looks like Chrome. Someone who has a Chromebook, if I'm wrong, uh, please correct me. Let's see, background notifications, the usual stuff. Let's, um, why don't we take a look at details, see what that looks like. All right, so this is running the latest version of GNOME. It would appear, default applications, removable media. All right, good, so far. Right-clicking, okay, can't do that there. Help, quit, and this would be... What does that do? Okay, minimizes. You have a panel here at the bottom, and that escapes. Okay, very good. Well, let's take a look at the start button, if you want to call it that. Looks like a search bar here at the top. Nice. Scrolling down. The GIMP installed by default. Very nice. Firefox. Let's take a look at the software center. Now, I remember taking a look at the website and I'm not sure what this is based off of. If it said it on the website, I missed it, but I, I'm going to guess it's not based off Debian or Ubuntu, and that's fine. Uh, maybe this is something that's based maybe off of OpenSUSE. I'm not really sure. Okay, looks like choices of software here. This probably uses its its own repository. Network utilities. Web browser. Okay. Some updates. Okay, well this is running pretty zippy so far. Pretty nicely in a virtual environment. Let's try a quick search. Music. Okay, of course, the ubiquitous rhythm box music player. There we go. If it'll load. There we go. A little bit slow in virtual box, but still not too bad. I'm sure this will run much faster in a full install environment. This is a beta by the way, so I probably would not install this in a production machine. I believe this is a beta one. Uh, let's see. Let, why don't we um, why don't we do this real quick? Let's go to I do a quick search here. Fire. Okay, fire. Let's go to their website real quick. The panel bar here, you can right click it does give you an option for preferences. Well, I just love the use of white space and the simple options here. Applets. Looks like you have the ability to add applets. I've always liked that in um, Zubuntu and Linux Mint Mate. Doesn't look like 
doesn't look like a lot of choices now, but that's okay because this is new. But at least you have an option like this. Very nice. I will now take a quick tour of Firefox. We'll use it as a default browser. Uh, let's see. Interesting by default, it doesn't take you to the Evolve website. So let's do a quick search. Evolve. Is it just me or Firefox is not as fast as what it used to be? Hmm. Anyway. Evolve OS. Oh, this is running slow with Firefox. Hmm. Let's just do that. Uh, let's see. We don't want the student login. Let's go this way. Evolve OS. All right. Let's take a quick look. This has something called the Budgie B U D G I E desktop, which I think it looks cool. Oh, they're under construction. Okay. Well, I don't want to bother them. <laughs> um, let's go to about. Let's go to Budgie. All right, Budgie is the flagship desktop of the Evolve OS distribution. Uh, GNOME stack. Again, unless I missed, it doesn't say what uh, this is exactly based off of. Oh, hello, kitty cat. Ah, oh, pretty. Anyway. Um, official Ubuntu PPA, Arch, and OpenSUSE. Okay, I guess I was right about OpenSUSE. So it's using all three? Huh. Oh, that's installing on distributions other than Evolve OS. Okay, well, I guess you have the choice of these three PPAs here. Anyway, as I stated, this is all new to me, but I do like what I see. Uh, this might be something for beginners once this gets finalized and I like what I see because it's something different and I'm always looking for something uh, different and it appears to be so far very easy to use keep in mind that this is a beta uh, I haven't taken a look at the installer so I don't know if this has a an automatic uh, installer uh, if it does not, it's not difficult to custom partition, but uh, for beginners, I would prefer something with an automatic installer. Well, let me know if you guys uh, take a look at this. I do like what I see so far. It looks kind of cool and different, and if you do install this, uh, please drop me a note. All right, well, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and listening. As always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.